Oh, and there we go. Now, he just jumped up in the air there. That's a dangerous thing to do. Yes, he got himself a bit chest on to a low ball, but at least he kept the bat straight. He kept it straight. We could see the red printing of the maker there, and that's what saved him to that low ball. Oh, he's got him, caught behind, down the next line, huge appeal, and Beveridge has given him. But I tell you what, the umpire wasn't going to give that. Richards created very, very, oh, he ran down the wicket, doing that little jiggle with his hand, and I really did think that the umpire had decided not out and gave the batsman out late. Now, the umpire is having a word to Stewart out there, who's indicating that it hit him on the thigh pad, and that really was very interesting. Now, you're going to have to watch Richards here and the umpire. This was a very controversial decision. There can be absolutely no doubt about the fact that the umpire was walking away. I don't think he was shaking his head. Well, Richards got his way, and Bailey, a very disappointed Bailey, is out. It's 10 for 2. Oh, he's got him. He's gone. He's over. Was probably out actually the West Indians are absolutely ecstatic about this I think he probably was out he was back and square on have another look at it he's bowled from around about middle and it's nipped back and I think that one probably fair enough it hit the roll you couldn't see a stump there so the score now, England in all sorts of trouble, 10 for 3. It's off the edge and it's flying down towards the boundary at third man because there are all those attacking fieldsmen up there. There are going to be a few boundaries that uh, especially fly away to the third man area. Yes, this was a good ball from Kirtley Ambrose. Ball from a little bit wide on the crease, slanted in towards short then pitching and leaving him that faction hitting the thick outside edge he does. oh he's in the air richards has got him he's got him he's doing his little jig again he always does the little jig he's going for his little run around <laughs> well the west indies have struck a tremendous fighting knock by young stewart has come to an end and as I suspected, Kirtley Ambrose has created the problem. This is what happened just outside of stump. A neck and boy straight into Bill Richards' very safe hands. And away he goes on his little run again. So he's a little bit unhappy, but he's played pretty well. 71 for four. Oh, and what a good delivery that was. That hit the thigh and deflected away to Viv Richards, a magnificent delivery to get first ball. Well, it's a great leg cutter, this, that hits Lamb on the right, top of the right leg. He's really rolling those fingers over the seam, is this tall six foot eight giant. Turns Lamb round, hits him on the top of the right leg, there he is rubbing it. And he's dropped him! Oh my goodness, the West Indies surely aren't going to get the dropsies. That was a tremendous opportunity for them. You cannot drop Alan Lamb too often. They did it to Smith in the first innings. Here it is again. Well, this is another ball that Alan Lamb really didn't need to play at. Not an easy catch, that, for third slip. It's wide, he's got a dive and goes full stretch for it. But Alan Lamb playing at a wideish ball. Look at the right hand come off the bat again, just as Alex Stewart did. He really doesn't have to play at that ball. Kirtley Ambrose. Bowled him! He likes it. Kirtley Ambrose likes it. And Jack Russell's long vigil ends. He must have expected the new ball to bounce a bit, but it didn't. Very difficult ball to keep out there, Tony. Kept very low indeed. 
pitched in line with about mid stump and hit off look at how low that ball hit on the stump no more than six inches above the base of the stump very disappointed jack russell very happy currently ambrose and west in this team good ball big appeal got him out of the air he's got him trapped him with a yorker umpire lloyd barker no hesitation on that occasion he gave him out in a flash Hussain out LBW and England have lost their seventh wicket. Let's have another look. Fired in there and hit his back foot. Plum LBW. And so unfortunately, Nasser Hussain is out. 173 for seven. Great ball. Straight in there from a great height. Everybody's up. I think Hussain's heart would have been in his mouth as soon as it hit him. He does have a wonderful Yorker, doesn't he? What glee he enjoyed that wicket. Surrounded he is. Oh, he's beaten him! That was so close to the outside edge. There may even have been a noise, but it didn't quite carry to Dujon. He's having a little look at the outside edge of the bat. Did this hit the edge? I think it might have done. Well, I think he might have got a little fine tickle there, and it never quite carried to Geoffrey Dujon. He has bowled wonderfully well as Ambrose, cutting the ball away, the fingers round the ball, big fingers. Jeff Boycott mentions the hands, watch this, this is Ambrose, watch the eyes. Staring at the length. They're all there, bar one. Three slips. Silly mid off, square cover, a gully. A leg gully, forward short leg. And there is only one fieldsman not in the circle, and he's way down on the boundary at finally. Off the edge, got him, no ball called. Well, he's got big enough feet, he should try and keep some portion of it behind the line. It's gone straight to second slip, out court. However, it's not out. Yes, yeah, straight on off stump, Ambrose. And the batsman pushing at it, neat catch a second slip. But Capel pushing at the ball, pushing through the ball so it manages to carry and he's neatly caught. This is the last ball of the over. On the pair, he's given it out, LBW again, yes he's gone, LBW. So umpire Barker up with his finger again. And this time David Capel, the victim, he looked to me to be playing from the crease. And no hesitation, whatever there by umpire Barker. Let's have another look at it. It pitches and hit him around about middle and leg and was probably going to hit the leg stump. So David Capel is out. England on now 181 for eight. I tell you, he's quite wide on the crease here. Watch the angle of the ball. It pitches. Was it going down the leg side? Well, it may have hit leg stump. It may just have missed. He's gone. He's leg before. Ambrose strikes the game. Another leg before. The West Indies are nearly home. There's joy, jubilation. And Ambrose gets his seventh. Accuracy again striking. The Freitas leg before wicket without scoring first ball. Well, I must say I thought that the Freitas's front foot had got outside that off stump. He got there very early and started to draw back. Might just have got outside the off stump. But it was near enough not to matter near enough not to matter and up goes the finger and out he goes well, he's really charged up now here Kirtley Ambrose he has bowled magnificently today and even before this quite sensational spell Indies have won the fourth test match in the Cable and Wireless series. It's one all. 
and Kirk Ambrose is the centre of attention, you might say.